I'd like to show you how you can use Padlet to create an engaging discussion forum for your students. Now, class discussion is a great instructional strategy, and you can do class discussions using the question tool in Google Classroom. You can use a Google Doc. There's tons of different options, but all of those are text-based discussions. Padlet is an interesting tool because it gives you a variety of multimedia options to do either a video or an audio only discussion. Now, let me show you quickly how that would work. I'm in a Padlet right now. A Padlet is just a giant canvas onto which you can put anything you want. So I'm going to double click on a spot in my canvas and it's going to bring up the posting option. I can obviously type something in if I want or by clicking on the uh, three dots, I can select from any of these options. And I'm particularly interested in the audio uh, option. This is one of the, uh, Paddle is one of the few tools that supports an audio only um, option. It's a very interesting way to do a class discussion because it allows students to share their thoughts verbally, which is gonna help students who have a hard time typing proficiently or just expressing themselves through uh, writing where they can do much, so much better through verbal discussion. Secondly, there are many tools such as Flipgrid that allows students to do basically the same thing in a video format. However, depending on the age of your students and the type of assignments, the video portion can actually end up being distracting from the actual message. For a lot of assignments, it's really the audio that's important. The video is just there as kind of a background. So this helps us focus on just the content without any of the distracting video. We would just click record. Students can say their uh, reflection, and then students will be able to come in here and respond to one another either through text or through a uh, an audio response. Now I'll show you uh, an example of one that is complete. Um, here's one with a whole bunch of uh, responses from teachers. We can see the recording um, and we can quickly play these, um, listen to them. The other recording's not you know, super good, but it's is more of a, um, a documentation reflection activity. We're not really planning on publishing these for other people to view. Padlet is a free tool, it's super easy to set up. We'll just click on the Padlet, go to the dashboard, click new um, Padlet page. Um, you can choose any of these options. I like the canvas because you can just move things around however you wish. And there we go. The last thing you'd have to do is just uh, make sure that your canvas is shared uh, so that students can access it. So I'm going to make mine secret so that people can't post to it unless they have a direct link to it. And I'm a big Google Classroom person, so I would just post the link to the Padlet in Google Classroom as an assignment. Uh, it's just this link right up here. Students can do that. They click the mark is done assignment in Google Classroom to indicate that they have finished that assignment.